Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergzer Arcade at bergzerarcade.com and here we are in the hack and slash tutorial series with 274 I believe. So after updating to Unity 3.56 F4 I believe it is, let me just check just to make sure. Uh, 3.546 F4, I did come up with a bunch of warnings here. So I just wanted to take this time to actually go down through each of these and just make sure that there's nothing that I really have to worry about. Uh, so the first one here is about a conflict of a file. It just tells me to go ahead and delete it. And while well, I'm recording it, I'll just go through later and delete it. It tells me the exact path that I have to go to anyway. So I'll just do that after. Uh, this next one here, it tells us that our base character script is hiding an inherited method name. So we'll go ahead, we'll click that, open up the script. And let's just take a look here. We're actually using the name as in the name of the character, or in this case, uh, could also be the enemy because the enemy derives from this class and i'm just looking through it. it looks like i don't actually use it for anything else but that uh, i guess the easiest way to do it we'll just do a quick search here uh it's used 42 times so let's go see where else this is used i uh, probably actually have a method yeah right here for the getter and setter. Now I could go ahead and make this a property, uh, but there might be something I want to do when I'm actually setting the name. So for now, I'm actually going to go ahead and just leave it like this. So I'm going to uncomment the the name part. I'm going to come up here, refactor, put an underscore in front of it because I'm going to be making it private. And we'll go ahead, mark it as private. And actually, I have it right down here. Okay, well, we'll delete this one. And that should be it for that one. I did something in my mob screen. Not sure what I did. But that's the next one we're looking at anyway. So that one's gone. So the next one I'm getting here is about the water script. And it's because I'm actually using an old script from, well, I don't remember exactly when it was, probably about Unity 3.2. Uh, they've updated it since then. So I'm probably just going to actually you know, forget about it. because Oh, this is the Unity 3 water script. I'm going to go ahead and just forget about that one for now. Anything that has to do with that water. And I'll upgrade my script that I have attached to the water to the current versions of the scripts. So that's nothing... I need to worry about. So I'm going to go ahead and skip all of those. And I've got a few models here that are looking for LOD0. Now I did not make these models. Where This one's down here. I'm going to go ahead and expand this a bit. Where was it again? Okay, so it's not finding the LOD zero model which is right here to be quite honest i haven't looked a whole lot into the lod system so this is something i'm probably going to come back and look to i've already run the scenes and they do run fine i just want to make sure uh, that anything i can fix right now is fixed i do want to check out this error because i'm probably screwing something up ah yeah so when i change the name See, because I made it private, I can't access it through a script. So we'll just call the method. See if that gets rid of it. So there's a few instances here. That's fine. So let's take them one at a time. I thought I refactored it. Anyway, display get component mesh text. There we go. We'll get rid of those. So let's come back up. So, like I said, I'm going to skip the water. 
Uh, I'm going to skip the LOD thing because I did not make the models. And to be honest, I'm not even sure I'm going to be using those models. There was just something I was trying out. A lot of them are on the LOD. All right, so we're going to be. So we got a warning again in the house. I'm trying to think. I don't think I'm using them in my scene anywhere right now. Uh, this was the fantasy village. I'm actually going to go ahead and just delete it because I'm not actually using it in my scenes anywhere. It just does not. Oh, wait, I am using the trees. Well, I'll have to fix that up a little bit later, but it really has nothing to do with the overall project. It's whatever asset you're using. So let's go down. And we're going to come down to these shaders. Uh, now I, we did not write any shaders. So again, this is something that. I'm using down here. Let's see what it's in. So it's in the depth of field shader. Now I'm probably just going to have to upgrade my standard assets to the latest standard assets. So let's try that. I'm going to go ahead and delete my standard assets. Now I do have a backup of this folder. So, or sorry, backup of my project. So if something bad does go happen, I can just go ahead and restore it. So I'm going to come up to my window. I'm going to come to the asset store. This is, well, usually I upgrade this way here just to make sure I have the latest version. What I'll do is I'll actually come to the asset store. I'll hit the little tab up here. You can scroll through and just make sure that you actually have the latest edition of everything. Now this was standard assets. So we're going to come down here. Uh, here's your standard assets mobile. Since I was using one called standard assets, I assume uh, it was pretty old. Import the water. This is where it was. So we have our standard assets folder again. I'm going to shrink this down as well. And there's my water pro that I was using. Well, I was actually using water three. And I think we have water four now. So I may need to go into my scene and fix that, but we'll do it a little bit later. Right now I did get rid of the air. So there's my LODs. So let me see. There does not seem to be anything else since I've re-imported all these. If you double click them, the scripts are gone. So I'm going to skip all of those. Uh, the next one is right here. Uh, the mob camera hides inherited member. Uh, so it wants to get the component camera. Use the new keyword instead. So we'll go ahead. We'll open up this script. I'm going to go ahead and close the other ones. Uh, here's the line here. We're going ahead and making a static variable here for the camera and if we go ahead and actually take a look here uh, what exactly are we doing with this variable obviously we're just going to go ahead and find the camera so we're going to find the player camera because that's what we tagged it as that's actually its name that's fine we'll stick with that for now i'd probably prefer to use a tag but anyway uh we're just taking a look to see if the camera equals null Else we're going to look at it. Now this is the mob script. I'm not sure why we're actually looking at the camera as opposed to looking at the actual player. Let me just keep going down. So yeah, I'm actually going to change this to looking at the player instead of the camera. I'm not sure why we actually set it up to look at the camera. I may have to go back and look at that video. But yeah, it looks like we can just switch it over to the player. So I'm going to make it, um, I'm just going to call it target. So I'll refactor this. You could also call it player. Let's do that. Player or target. Uh, right now it's single player. Either or works fine. I am actually just going to use target. It's going to go through, make all the changes that need to be made. 
Now we're going to have to switch right here where it tries to go out and find what it's looking for. And now instead of choosing find and then looking for the name, we're going to find the, something with the tag. So find game object with tags. Now this is game objects. We want is actually find game object the singular. And the tag we want is actually the player tag. And I probably have that under game settings. So let me go ahead and load up game settings. I'm pretty sure it's player, but I just want to make sure. Uh, player tag. So here's game player name. And of course, the chinchillas like to run in the wheel while I'm trying to do some recording, but okay, I do not have a tag for it. So I'm actually going to go into the player script and set the tag there. Player. I might have called it PC. There we go. So here we go. We have it right here. This is our player script. So I'm going to come up at the very top here and just make a public constant. It's going to be of type string. And I'm just going to say player underscore tag. And we'll put it in here. And I'm going to call it player. I'm pretty sure it is player. We'll have to check just to make sure. Uh, but now I can reference it just in one spot. And let's come back in right here. And fill it in right here. So it's going to be PC dot player tag. Now, anytime I want to reference that. Uh, tag, I've got it stored one spot. I only have to change it one spot no matter how many times I reference it in my other script. So let's go ahead. We'll save that off. I'm sure all the rest of our scripts are saved. We're going to come back into Unity, make sure there's no errors, and there are none. Uh, we have some unreachable code detected. Uh, let's see if, else. Uh, because I have it set to if true. and this is always going to be reading true. Uh, this is in our enemy AI, which we will be coming back to address. But for now, we're just going to leave that. And I think that's it. All the rest, I don't think are going to bother. So I'm going to go ahead and fix up those models. But if you're using different models, I'm sure you're not going to have that problem. Uh, what I am going to do is go ahead and save the project off. I do not want to save my new scene. Actually, let's go to uh, the scene we used to play on. Tutorial. And my water might be different. Yeah. Let's go ahead. We'll find the player. Uh, I actually want to move to the spawning area. Oh, that's the mob spawning area. Uh, where's the beach? The beach is what I'm looking for. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's the area spawning ground, area beach. Dun. There we go. Uh, actually, my water looks fine. Let's go ahead. We'll start the game. We'll take a quick run over, take a look here. Yeah, the water's fine. I want to change it anyway. It doesn't really fit the style that I have for the rest of my art assets. But yeah, I thought it was actually going to be untextured. But anyway, I'm just going to end this one here. Everything does. Oops, I am getting in here. The reference script. Let's go over. We'll look on the player camera. I am missing a script here. And this actually has nothing to do with the... Astro tutorial, what this was, was one of the pro image effects that I was using on my camera. Uh, I'm not sure which one it was offhand. Uh, I don't have them loaded back up. I got rid of them. Uh, I can go ahead and actually import them again. 
uh, import package. I think Image Effects Pro will do it for me. I'm not sure if it's actually going to go ahead and attach that script for me again. Now, the joys of updating. This is why you always keep a backup. <laughs> it actually got to the point where I was making a backup after each tutorial, and I would keep four or five older backups. But when I started adding more and more and more art assets to the program, it started actually getting pretty big. So there we go, we got it updated. It looks like we're still getting some warnings here. I did not write the shader, so I really don't have any control over that. I will look into a bit more, but I do not really have a whole lot of control over it since I did not do anything. But it was my Sunshaft script. And I don't even think I have it turned on. Sun, yeah, you see the god rays there. So that was a script, anyway. But anyway, that's it. I feel that I've corrected all of those. So let's go in and actually start cleaning up some of the actual scripts that we did write. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.